we have a problem that's coming to the surface and it's rearing its ugly head in season four. Now, this problem is a blessing, but it's also a curse. And let me explain. So season four is the season of Loot Reborn. Amazing. Season four will be the best season by far in Diablo 4. It will be recognized as that. And it is. And again, I've said the devil's the devil is in the details. And it's showing everyone looks like they're happy enjoying themselves. This, me personally, is the most I've played in any season since season one. However, because loot is so valued right now, it's brought this issue to the forefront. And that issue is RMTing, real money transactions, the whales, the cheaters, whatever you want to call them. This has given them a platform to take advantage of the situation. And there is no further proof than what I just witnessed on X and I wanna share it with you. And you may be familiar with this content creator and Twitch streamer, that mods, nice, super nice guy. And he did this and posted this on X where he basically said, there's a problem with greater FX loot drops in Diablo 4. Now, before I get into it and discuss it even more, let's watch that that mod's clip on X that he posted. We did like around 1,400 boss kills. Right, we did 1,400 boss kills uh, today. Right, that's how many boss kills we did of each boss today. And we did, no one in the group got a single greater affix unique that belongs to the latter boss loot tables. Right, so there's obviously something going on. Hopefully Blizzard addresses it. Hopefully they address it quickly, right? Because the entire point of the ladder boss is to allow players to focus farm specific upgrades and not rely on total RNG. But basically at this current state, what do you want to do? You basically just want to farm Helltide exclusively for greater affix gear, right? You just only want to do the Helltide boss and that's pretty much it. The only time you want to like kill these ladder bosses is if you need the materials to do Durial and Endarial. Or if you want to just do the tormented version of the, of the boss or level 200 version. This presents a couple of problems for me. Number one, the biggest problem obviously to me is RMTing. This, if people are doing the end game content and they see that there is no, there's no correlation between the level of difficulty or the end game content and higher reward system, if they don't make that link, then they're not going to do it. Well, to that mod's point, you're only gonna do it because you need the materials to fight the, the end game bosses that you want. For example, Duriel. Um, so that presents many, many problems. Number one, why is that they ran all those boss fights and you mean to tell me not one drop from the bosses that they fought their loot table dropped one item with a greater affix all those boss fights didn't drop one item with a ga on it that sounds uh, like if it wasn't coming from dat mods i wouldn't believe it um but i find him to be a valuable and trustworthy source um and that is that is good statistical data that that is you, you take that at face value that's not i did 10 runs and i didn't get a ga item ever that's a lot of boss runs so it's a good sample pool um, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And just to give you an idea, this is what we're talking about that that Mots was talking about. Here's, here's the loot table, just to give you a quick overview. Here's Lord Zeer's loot table, and I'm not going to read them. You can see them. These are some items that 
you know, they're they're good items, okay? Here's the Beast and Ice. There's his loot table. Here's Echo of Varshaw. Very quickly, again, all class specific. Here's Grigor. Here's his loot table. Here's Duriel. His loot table. Like, come on. These are items like Uber Duriel, Uber and Dariel. Like, these are like end game items and they don't drop one with a greater affix so now that's a problem in itself i don't know what's going on i don't know if blizzard has purposely locked gas from this loot table who knows time will tell now in that mod's tweet on x i didn't see a response from blizzard and i scrolled down all the comments i didn't see one so maybe since me releasing this video they may have commented on it i haven't seen one as the recording of this video just want to get that straight okay but this is causing rm team for sure it's a problem in the game and you can look no further than going on let's look at diablo trade okay and what items are selling for with GAs or not with GAs. But you will see very quickly here, 10 billion gold, 10 billion gold. And it, there's pages of it, pages of it, 10 billion gold. Here's a three GA, a four GA, a one GA, all GAs. GAs, the, you'll find the odd one with not a greater affix, but these are all ten, $10 billion dollar gold, guys. All ten billion. Three, three GAs, two GAs, three GAs, three. Okay, let's go to page three. You're gonna get my point here, okay? We're still at ten billion. I'm on the third page, by the way. GAs, G. GA, okay, here we go. Here's the first one, ten billion. It's, it's an amulet that's got crit, exploit, and malice, and crit strike, okay? 10 billion, three, 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 four GA. Anyway, you get my point, guys. Like this one, razor plate with thorns on it. That's, wow. Here's another one with thorns. All the barbarians that are so popular, the builds in season four. Would love to have the I would ha love to have that razor plate for my barb. 10 billion, guys. 10 billion. Anyway, I can go on and on. It's pages and pages. 10 billion, 10 billion, 10 billion, 10 billion, 10 billion. All GAs, all GAs, all GAs. All of them. W with the odd exception thrown in of not having a GA. Okay, so what's the problem? RMT. It's in all games, right? So what's the problem? The problem is this dilutes the loot in Diablo 4 because only whales and cheaters, the ones with the credit cards, can win in this game and min and max in this game. And by RMTing, you can defeat the higher end game and high tier rewards so does that matter do you care now i personally this is one of the reasons why i play ssf solo self found number one I, I play ssf for two reasons one is i like earning my loot and i only want to play with the loot that has dropped for me number one but number two because i of RMTing in games, I don't like getting myself into the economy of the game if it's not well managed, okay? And clearly in Diablo 4, the economy is not managed at all. Now, I will defend Blizzard with the following comment. It's very difficult to manage 
an economy in a game. Like you can start banning people, but can you really be 100% sure that the person is cheating? And I ask that because my fear in that strategy is players are going to be accused of something they didn't do and they're going to get banned and I don't like that. When someone is accused of something and they didn't do it and then they lose the right to play the game. So this is where I'm kind of on the fence. So I'm kind of defending Blizzard because it's a difficult thing to do to monitor this. But this is a problem, guys. This is a problem in two ways. Number one, what that mods raised was the fact that what the hell we did hundreds of the boss ladder runs and not one ga dropped on any item for all the players that we did the runs with like this is crazy a hundred gregorio gregor sorry a hundred gregor fights zero gas 25 ice beast zero GAs, 40 Durial runs, not one item with a greater affix. That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So this only fosters RMTing because if you're a player that wants to get to max level and, you know, do the higher tier pits, for example, okay? Which is what a lot of people are striving to do, right? Everyone hears, oh, here's the sorceress that just cleared a pit tier 132. You know, this is all the rave right now. So if you're that kind of player that wants it now, they're flashing the credit card and they're buying and they're RMTing. Now, I want to preface this by saying it's a small percentage of the player base. Don't get me wrong. The majority of the player base stay away from RMTing, but it only takes a couple of bad apples to ruin the whole cart of other apples. And this is what's going on. So I wanted to, I, I was really taken aback by Datmots' post on X. And then I really was shocked because this is something that I've been keeping my eye on for uh, about a month now two to three weeks actually, sorry. And since season four launched and I noticed a little trend and I'll tell you a little story. I'm a small content creator and a small channel and a small live stream. I, I live stream on Twitch. Uh, by the way, come check me out playing season four on Twitch. Channel name is Sammy Caps. Would love to have you. And I have been approached by these RMT companies. Three of them have approached me to join and they're gonna pay me money to put like a 60 second clip on my videos. Now that's me, a small time guy, all right? Can you imagine that mods? That guy must be uh, being approached a thousand times a day. So I can only imagine what they're offering the big time uh, content creators. My point is they're approaching people that have influence because the market is thriving. The RMT market is thriving. And this drives me crazy because it shouldn't belong in games. Now, again, I understand it's a difficult thing to manage. But Blizzard, I have one solution for you. And I don't know if this will still eliminate RMTing, but I would imagine it would give you better control of the situation. And that is take the economy from the outside third party vendors to inside the game. And you create the UI, the, the economy, the trading in game which I would imagine, and again, you guys correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I would imagine this would give them better control. Like, come on, other games have it. Again, I'll raise a game that has a really good economy. Again, no game is perfect with any aspect of their content and systems, okay? So 
take it with a grain of salt. But last epoch has a trading economy, just as one example. So I think you could combat this by removing these third party, like take the trading and put it in the game. We have seen players love trading, selling and trading. Some people, that's all they do. It's a way for them to earn gold. It's a way for them to add a purpose to the grind. So bring it in house, put it in the game. You design it, you create the economy, you manage the economy. Now that last one might deter you from wanting to do it, but this is your game. You need to protect it. Whales and people with massive budgets shouldn't be the ones thriving in this game. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. How are you finding the economy? Are you a seller and buyer? Do you have 10 billion gold? Now, don't get me wrong. There are many ways to naturally make gold. Like, I know I could make billions of gold, and that would be to do carries on stream. Hey, guys, I'm doing this run, this boss run, uh, whatever. Hey, all I ask is that you give me X amount of gold. Like, if you want to, right? I don't know if that's against TOS, but I think some streamers are doing that. They're they're asking for, you know, X amount of gold, all right? So there are ways to make a lot of gold in the game naturally, but it's a lot of time. It's a lot of effort. RMTing, it's one second and you can buy as much gold as you want. Now, I personally don't know how much gold costs on these RMT sites. Who knows? Maybe I should have looked into that before doing the video. But solution, Blizzard, put the trading in your game. Take it out. Don't leave it to the third parties, okay? Bring it inside your house. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Are you buying and selling? What do you think of the economy? What do you think of that Motz's post on X? Isn't that ridiculous? And if you've ran a lot of boss ladder runs, have you ever had a GA drop? Have you ever had a greater affix drop? Now, on, in the post on Dat Motz's post on X, there was one guy that said, hey, I got a, a GA on one. I didn't realize it was that uh, hard to get. I consider myself lucky, but I'm sure some drop but that is ridiculous. But let me know your experience. Let me know your comments. What do you think about this? And do you agree with me? Do you think Blizzard should put trading in the game? Not that we have to go to Discord or a third-party website. What do you think on that? Anyway, let me know your comments. And in order to help my channel grow, I would really appreciate if you could like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell so whenever I drop content, you get notified and you can watch my content. Please, it would help my channel grow immensely. And we have big plans for this channel. This community is super beautiful and awesome. And I want to thank all the people that have supported me and continue to support me from the beginning. I've, I will forever be grateful. But if you can like, comment, and subscribe, it'll help grow my channel and I would appreciate it. And as always... We'll see you in Sanctuary. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.